15 things I know in my 40s that I wish I knew in my 20s and 30s. And to be honest with you, I kind of had a hard time coming up with this video, not because I couldn't come up with the content, but because I know that in my 20s and 30s, I probably wouldn't have listened to anybody giving me some of this advice. I was so self-absorbed in, in my work, in my uh, personal life, and just what I perceived to be success at that time, I don't know if I would have taken the time to even listen. Having said that, let's get to it. Number one, focus on experiences over possessions. Throughout my entire life, I was always focused on getting that next big thing, that new shiny object. When I was a kid, it would have been toys or a bike. As a teenager, accessories for my car, lots of accessories for my car and sound equipment. As an adult, maybe more accessories for a more expensive car or tech, it could be anything. Now, as you get older, you realize that there's a dopamine effect that comes along with this that never really lasts. But also looking back, I don't think I was doing a lot of that stuff for myself. A lot of those things I wanted to impress others. And it really didn't do anything for me at the end of the day. And in fact, some of that stuff that I, I worshipped back in the day are now sitting in my basement. They really mean nothing. Number two, take more risks. Now for me, that has to do mainly with breaking outside of my comfort zone and not being afraid to approach people and speak to people. I'm actually an introvert by nature. I know that sounds odd because I speak at conferences and events and I hear I am on camera, but that didn't come easy for me and I still struggle with it. It was a skill that I had to learn in order for me to accomplish my goals and I'll even say accomplish my dreams. It was something I had to learn. But I also know that I lost a lot of opportunity in both my uh, personal and my professional life because I didn't take that risk. Number three, lay a financial foundation. Now this one really goes without saying. And I'll even take it back to my first point. If I didn't waste all my money on that nonsense to impress other people and I invested that property, I'd be a lot better off than I am today. Start putting money away. There's all kinds of options out there, short-term, long-term, safe, more risky, especially if you don't have a pension. Now I would certainly contact a financial advisor for some proper advice on this. But I'll say this, there's nothing better than earning money while you sleep. Number four, develop effective communication skills. This will help you in both your personal life and your professional life. Communication, both verbal and nonverbal. I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been out with individuals who are partners in organizations that are meeting a potential employee and they know within three seconds whether or not that person is going to be a fit or not. They don't look at their resume, they just look at them, their body language, their aura. Are they okay speaking to them? Do they shake their hand? Do they have confidence? Now some of these individuals may be struggling inside, like I have as well, but they give off that perception. Very, very important. This might not come natural. But if you're watching this video on YouTube or some other platform, then you already know that somehow you can navigate to a channel that specializes in communication skills. Again, verbal and nonverbal. When you're done this, check one out. Number five, continuous learning. I didn't go to college or university. I hated school. I still hate school. I became a licensed carpenter after high school. There's many other ways to continue your schooling, to continue learning these days, besides structured education. And they're more acceptable because the fact is, the traditional way, that just doesn't work for everybody. Number six, build a strong support network. There's a saying out there, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. That couldn't be more accurate. If the highlight of your Monday is chatting with your friends or telling other people at work, the highlights of your weekend, getting drunk and doing God knows what. Listen, it's time to move on. If you have any aspirations whatsoever, it's time to move on. Number seven, develop a proper skincare routine. Now, this is something I just started within the past couple of years. Now, growing up, especially as a teenager working in construction and I'm not wearing a hat and the wind's blowing and all the elements in the air are getting to me or whether I'm out in the fields or on the boat, the same situation, yeah, I'd have a shower and wash like everybody else, but I never really had a proper skincare routine. And the truth be told, the damage is done. However, you're never too old to start, start now. Number eight, embrace change instead of fighting it. Not because you have to, because you want to. There's another old saying, those who can't change your minds can't change anything. And in terms of changing your mind, this is often seen as a sign of weakness or flip-flopping as you often you hear in political terms. But if you're a leader, and you believe very strongly in something and you're presented with different facts or you change your mind just because of things that you've witnessed, that's not a sign of weakness. That's a sign of strength. 
especially the fact that you can change your mind and do the right thing when you're presented with uh, different facts. Not because you have to, because you want to. Number nine, set clear personal boundaries. Straight up, I wish I told more people off in my life. Where to go? Keep your distance and just stay away from me. Too many times in life I've allowed myself to be walked on because either I didn't have the self-confidence to stand up for myself or I just didn't want to make other people feel bad or look bad. But looking back on it now, it hasn't done me any good at all. Number 10, cultivate gratitude and mindfulness. This is something else that doesn't come natural to me. If you know me at all, you know that I never stop. I'm always on the go. And any time that I've had to sit with my own thoughts, it's because I was forced to do so. Maybe I'm driving and I'm in the middle of nowhere, there's no cell service or radio service, or maybe the power goes out at home and I'm forced to be with my own thoughts. And any time that's happened, it's always been very beneficial. Number 11, trusting my instincts. I think people need to do this more than ever, especially with all these outside distractions. People have almost been discouraged from trusting their feelings. I've dealt with, listen, this is not victim blaming, but I've dealt with numerous victims of crime where they knew beforehand something was wrong. There was something wrong with that person. They got a bad feeling. They shouldn't have gotten in the elevator. They shouldn't have spent time with them in a hallway. But why didn't they do anything? They didn't want to insult the other person. They didn't want to look rude. Now, look at animals in the wild. I spent a lot of time. Animals in the wild, they don't have to see me. I could be in the forest. I could be out in the fields where there's deer, where there's rabbits. They don't have to see me. They just have to sense that I'm around. And you know what they do? They get the heck out of there. They don't care how I feel. If they insulted me, they trust their instincts and they get the heck out of Dodge. Number 12, strive for work-life balance. Now, this is mainly awareness because I struggle with this daily. I don't ever stop and I don't know how to. But I've also learned that some people are like that. I've had family members that until they die, they just never stop. And they were very, very happy. I've also had family members who, uh, you know, close family members have forced them to stop working. And you know what happened to them? They got old. They got old very quickly. And they died shortly after. They needed something to do. Having said all that, if you have kids or family that you're close to, try to find that work-life balance for them. Number 13, embrace vulnerability. Very difficult for me, especially with a law enforcement background. I'm not a very trusting person, and that's hurt some of the relationships throughout my life. The times that I have allowed myself to be vulnerable, good things came from it. Number 14, define success. It's usually not even possible to understand this until something drastic happens in your life. And heaven forbid, you lose a child or you lose a close family member. That's when you decide or that's when you understand what success means in life. When you would give up everything to have a moment with somebody or to have that person back. Number 15, I didn't want to include this, but eat well and exercise. I don't want to sound too hypocritical here, okay? I love my chocolates. I love my sweets. I have no self-control sometimes when it comes to that stuff. If there's a chocolate bar and I see it and it's two in the morning, there's nothing that's going to stop me. Now, the good thing about it is I live a very active lifestyle. You know, I'm always cutting down trees with the chainsaw after a windstorm, chopping up wood and everything else. And thank goodness for that because that's my exercise. And I also hate going to the gym. I hate going to the gym. There's too many people looking at themselves in a the mirror. I can't compete with that. I don't know which one of these is most important or which one you'll resonate with. But looking back on it, I sure wish I told a lot more people off back in the day. This is 15 things. I'm sure there's 35 or 40 things that I wish I knew in my 20s and 30s that I know in my 40s. So if you have any to add, please leave a comment. I said this before, I read every single one and I respond when it's appropriate to do so. I'm gonna leave the link here to a video that I made for personal observations that I've noticed almost all successful people do. So listen folks, until the next video, be safe out there, look after one another, and perhaps we will see you again.